It's nationals, and I really, really want to win. She's second. How is she second? Who beat her? Chloe is my biggest competitor. And I just hope that Maddie's happy for me, too, because I'm always happy for her when she wins. Maddie, I don't think you're doing a solo at nationals. This is our last competition of the season. There's no more next weeks. There's no more do-overs. There's no more second chances. This is it. We have to win right here, right now. Back on top, we have Maddie. You're doing your solo. And Chloe, you will also be doing your solo. Chloe's new solo, Another Season, is about rebirth and renewing and moving on to a new story. And it's great, because this is the end of the season. It was the perfect choice. I know you're tired. I know this has been really long and hard on you. I do. I know. Sometimes I just don't want to dance. I mean, I love dance. I just am tired and I need a break. Where do I draw the line? You know, when is enough enough for her? All done? Set go feet. It's our final nationals, so this is big for us. I think the moms and the girls are starting to feel a little bit of pressure. Abby's not used to having losing numbers, and you know we don't want to be the ones who tarnish the Abby Lee Dance Company name. So it's up to us to step up to the plate and bring it. Here, Maddie, let me give you a mommy hug. Since your mommy's not here, good luck. Thank you. Okay, and I'll give you a mommy hug because I'm your mommy. Chloe is my biggest competitor. We are competing against each other for nationals. Next, number one, zero, zero, four, Manhattan. Next bus, the next plane, I would leave for Manhattan. Wish you would hold me back. Me When I watch Maddie dance, I'm just so proud of her. She just, just amazes me every day, every time I see her. We're at nationals. This is our last competition. I really want Chloe to win a crown. She deserves it. Competing next is number one, zero, zero, six, another season. like a book. She can't cover that up. And I'm sitting there, and I just wanted to run up and grab her and give her a hug and run her off stage. But you can't do that. Okay. You want to make me cry? I was just upset and confused why I did that. I just cried. I guess everyone cries when you pause on stage. <laughs> I'm kind of a humble guy. I mean, I'm very proud of her, and I just hope she just continues her success, and I, I hope it don't go to her head. That's one thing. <laughs> I want another crown. I'm lucky I have nine crowns now, and they don't really fit on my shelf, so I'm going to ask my mom to build another shelf. We are going to 90210 <laughs> Beverly Hills. <laughs> we are going to the Energy Dance National Invitational. Maddie, you will have a solo. Nia, Kendall, and Chloe. We're going to teach all three of you the same choreography. Originally, I thought that Chloe would be my fourth solo selected. But after she ended up sixth, and Kendall beat her, and Nia looked great in the group dance. I don't know if Chloe's the right choice or not. Hold. Boom. It's no. run, run, run. Stop. Spin, spin, spin. Maddie's doing another contemporary solo called Telling Myself. And it's telling herself, I am back in the game. I want to win. I want it. Right. Yes, yeah. She's almost know. being a little cocky and telling the judges, I'm too good for you. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve me. I am only silence in here. There is no use all the time. I am.
sunny landscape. So I love the sky. Abby maintains the moms will decide who gets the fourth solo, but we all know who has the final decision when it comes to any dancing at the Abby Lee Dance Company. A woman who will say. Okay, Jill. I pick Kendall. Chrissy. I obviously pick Chloe. Holly? I would say Mia. All right, so we have a three-way tie. Melissa, you get to break the tie. Oh, my God. Melissa, all personal issues aside, who do you think is going to give us the most points? Chloe. That's what a judge needs to do. I just said it, and I'm not saying it again, because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. It's already because done, Melissa. You, we already Kendall, knew. I think you were wonderful. I do. I think you were great. We already knew who was going to get it. Of course we knew. Because you wanted her to beat me. This whole thing is not fair. It's not fair. It's just not fair. Oh, yes. my gosh. It's a solo, Jill. Relax. That's right. You relax, Holly. Then relax. I'm not dealing with this anymore. It's, it's ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Girls, come on. This is Nationals. You work all year. Every single day that you've been in that studio rehearsing, every weekend that we've flown to a competition or has led up to this point today, what you do on that stage could change the rest of your life. Understood? I'm kind of nervous because it's a really hard competition and it's nationals and I really, really want to win. Please welcome to the stage entry number 9A. This is Maddie performing Telling Myself. on the money. She's hitting everything. She has those judges in the palm of her hand. It's like watching a 25-year-old professional on that stage. stage and did exactly what Abby wanted her to do. She wanted the emotions to be there, her technique. It was amazing. Please welcome to the stage, Chloe performing Silence. You never know with Chloe. She could be amazing or she could be a freaked out mess. But the stakes are high, and I think Chloe could win the title. Woman who will say I'm very happy that Chloe won the solo. She has worked hard, and I think she has something to prove to Abby that she's a great dancer. I think Chloe needs this solo probably more than anybody else at that studio. of this competition, Chloe went out there and she danced as well as she can. And she didn't choke and she believed in herself. So she won no matter who gets that crown. All right, everybody. And second place, Junior Solo, which was very, very close by a fifth of a point, goes to telling myself Maddie Ziegler from the Abbey Dance Center. And our first place, Energy Junior Solo for our Nationals in Beverly Hills. Also being crowned Miss Energy goes to Chloe from the Amberley Dance Center. Congratulations. And we are going to crown Chloe Miss Energy today. It feels really good to be winning Junior Miss Energy and getting the crown and plaque and the trophy. This is a really good step in my dance career, and I just hope that Maddie's happy for me, too, because I'm always happy for her when she wins. Congratulations, Chloe. So how do you feel about Miss Energy? Really good. Well, everybody did a wonderful job. Take a bow. This week, we are the Nationals. We've worked all season for this. This is when we're going to see if the Abby Lee Dance Company still has what it takes 
to be reigning national champions. Now my soloists, to be fair, everyone will be learning a solo for nationals. Chloe and Kendall, you will be learning the same choreography. I'm not really sure why Jill is looking so smug. She thinks that Kendall is going to beat Chloe out for this solo at nationals. Chloe is the reigning national champion. She beat Maddie last year. I'm pretty sure that she can take on Kendall. Nia, Paige, you will be learning the same choreography. Maddie, I'm throwing you in there too. I just want Nia to have a fair chance, but once I heard Maddie's name, I knew it wasn't going to be a level playing field. This is nationals. So if you're going to be here and you're going to be on this team, you are going to be the absolute best that you can be. Today is going to be a busy day. I'm deciding who's going to do a solo at nationals. Every girl needs to give me 110%. They need to understand that every second they're on the dance floor, I'm judging them. Oh, one, two, three, two, two, three. As I'm watching the performance, I know what Abby has given Kendall in the past, a lot of jazz solos. This choreography is geared more towards Chloe. Ball change, move, move, plie, hold, hold. Chloe was last year's national champion, and even though she hasn't had the best dance season, I really think that she deserves a chance to defend her national title. Five, push around, step, pose. Done! Out the door! On day or, out the door. Abby's taking three solos to nationals, and she's having the girls compete for it. I'm gonna know just from the music, from the style of the dance, who it's gonna be for. You can't take Paige's choreography and Maddie's choreography and say they're the same. That was our Susu thing. All right. Nia needs to compete for a solo with Maddie and Paige. It doesn't take a doctor to figure out how that's going to end up. Don't rush. I know that Maddie is a lock this week. It's, it's obvious, but I think that Abby is just having the other girls dance with her, which I think is a fabulous opportunity. It lets the other kids dance. How could two mothers representing the Abby Lee Dance Company go out in the middle of Bourbon Street and get into a scuffle with each other? You had too much to drink. Oh, you better whatever. settle with that bitch. Well, 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 had a rough morning already. You've succeeded in driving yet another dancer away from the Abby Lee Dance Company. We were out. It was nothing to do with you or the Abby Lee Dance Company or the kids. You are all here because the Abby Lee Dance Company is attending a national finals. To say the least, it was unsportsmanlike behavior. Christy, you're out. Chloe is gone for this week. Leslie, you have to take Peyton home. You're gone. Hot damn. Here it is, the day before nationals, and we're down three kids. I don't understand why Abby couldn't have just left the kids in the dance and made the moms leave. You have a solo tomorrow. Last year, you didn't win that national title. I think you should have. This week, we are at nationals. We've worked all season for this. This is the big trip, and we are in New Orleans. This is when we're going to see if the Abby Lee Dance Company still has what it takes to be reigning national champions. I want you to know that you are here at Nationals. This is it. This is what it has been all about. I came to Nationals in New Orleans, Louisiana to win. I want to see energy. I want to see divas. I want to see people that are strong enough to move on and get on that stage and be 10 times better dancers than you've ever been before. There's no better revenge than victory. Maddie's performance was breathtaking. She was an angel on that stage. She didn't let anybody down, mainly 
herself. And your highest scoring elite junior soloist, Maddie, at number 32, Amazing Grace. Maddie got her national title, and she wanted that so bad. You know, next year we have to win again. That's what she expects, and that's what we'll do. We are in Los Angeles, California. Hollywood, Burbank, everything is here. I wanted my kids to attend a nationals here in this city because this city is all about stars, and I make stars. We will be attending intensity dance competition for nationals. After much consideration, I have narrowed it down to three soloists. If the foot holds up, Chloe, there's no reason why you can't do a solo at nationals. Chloe, you have a contemporary solo. It's called Soaring. I am thrilled that Chloe has a chance to do a solo at nationals because I feel still so guilty about what happened in New Orleans and Chloe not having the chance to dance. Maddie, I'm going to tell you right here and now in front of everyone, I don't think you're doing a solo at nationals. You're a Jimmy Kimmel today. You're a Jimmy Kimmel all day tomorrow. That gives us one day to do a solo before nationals. I would love to do a solo. I don't care if I have to learn in one day. She doesn't have to be there till 2 tomorrow. I don't want to throw you out on that stage not being your best, Maddie. You are not doing a solo at nationals. I just want a solo really bad. And even though I have other things that I have to do in LA, I still want to be able to compete as a soloist. Oh my God, please make sure that that attitude is an attitude. It's Nationals Week, and Abby is clearly not in our game. She's looking at new studios. Other great thing about this location is you're right between Santa Monica and Brentwood on one side and Beverly Hills on the other. She's leaving early to watch Maddie at Jimmy Kimmel. All right. OK, I'm looking forward to seeing you, sir. She's not even at the studio for rehearsals. Like, did she just use Nationals as an excuse to get out here and kind of work on all for other things? Because that's what it feels like to us. OK, that has to be a split. I really had high hopes for this number, but it's obvious that she's not been given a solo that shows off all of her talent. Do you like Chloe? No. Not at all? No. It's not Chloe at all. What's up? Was there a problem with? You, you see the dance. You see that that's not Chloe's style. Everybody... I think she looks great. She worked on it. The whole deal about this dance was that it had to be good choreography, and it's not. You guys are her. You really are. There was one like thing that I changed, but the whole timing thing, I don't know what she's worked up about. OK. There's nothing to worry about. Again, Abby is missing in action. She hasn't spent any time with the soloist. Chloe, Kendall, and Cameron have only gotten a few minutes to learn their solos. At this rate, who knows who's going to win nationals? Abby, she'll take a look at the solos, decide they're not good enough, and throw Maddie in at the last minute. I would put nothing past her by doing that. I guarantee Abby has something up her sleeve for Maddie for nationals. I'm assuming she's doing a solo at nationals. We all assumed she was doing one at nationals because yesterday was the first time that we heard that she wasn't doing a solo when Abby said it at Pyramid. But when we came in today, the first dance taught was Maddie's solo. Maddie had a super secret private and learned the solo on her own before the rest of the girls came in. But she told all of us Maddie is not doing a solo. Right. What are the games Abby's playing? You know, if I have learned anything this competition season, it's expect Maddie to dance an unexpected dance. There is no way that Abby is not going to let Maddie dance a solo at nationals, ever. The whole whatever me media frenzy that's going to happen, it's a distraction. Absolutely. Absolutely. Abby's job is to teach dance and to make sure that kids are prepared for national. She, this is not the time to be focused on media and meeting people. Because if our kids We need to be lose. focused on dancing and being prepared. Abby, are there any other soloists? Well, Maddie started a solo. Maddie, do you want to do a solo? Yes. It's good that they're doing a solo, and I'm happy for them, but I want to do a solo, too. In Pyramid? Abby specifically said, Maddie's busy going to Jimmy Kimmel. She does not have a solo at Nationals. I don't know what to think. Well, I think it should be that way, that the three girls get the solo. 
no, I just want, you know, a chance for the other girls. Oh. Melissa, I think you're backpedaling a little bit. I just remember when you were more concerned with her future than your friendships and how everybody else felt. I thought there were only three solos. But I think the issue, I thought there were only three solos to be given. I just have a lot to think about. You know what, Maddie? Why don't you go in the other room and work on your solo? I need a sure thing to count on for competition. These kids, they're struggling with these routines. I might have to really take the mothers off and stick Maddie in the competition. I mean, practice the group dance. I was, you know, the first. I have a question. For a minute and 45 seconds, Nia and Mackenzie have choreography with that chair. So until those two get their act together, Maddie should go do something else. Melissa says nothing. The group dance is the most important dance. Shame on Melissa for not speaking up and saying that's wrong. Maddie wasn't given a solo at, at Pyramid. Now there's this super secret solo. I guess at this point, you're OK with Maddie doing a solo, because you didn't speak up. If you really aren't going to pull it, just say, I'm right. not going to pull it. One. I'm going to own it. Either you one. need to do something. I, I, at this point, I'm not. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. You said, oh, I'm glad my friends are finally getting a chance. You said that. Those were your words. You just made it perfectly clear where we all stand. Your decision not to say anything to Abby doesn't surprise me. That makes me sad. Oh, my god. I don't know what planet I'm on. But and that's what bothers me. That would have been a perfect opportunity. OK. Yeah. I'm going to go talk to Abby. You need to be so high in your one hand and handstand that your foot is like straight, your leg comes in. I really can give what anybody tells me to do, because I'm my own person. And I'm standing up for myself. I'm not letting people walk all over me anymore. I'm just sick and tired of all the I want to just take my kids and go to nationals. I'm so over this. I think they're doing chandelier. Kendall said she heard the music walking by their door. I keep going back and forth. Should I have Maddie do a solo or not? But after that little stunt with Kathy, I'm thinking very strongly about taking one of the solos away and entering Maddie. Do you want to do the dance with Priya? Do you want to do the CN number and shove it all in their faces and have the place go crazy? What do you want to do? It's up to you. No, it's not up to me. I'm giving you the right to choose what you want. I'll have to say no. I can't believe that Maddie said she didn't want to perform at nationals. I think it's time she concentrate more on her dancing and less on her friends. All right, girls, look, this is nationals. This is it. So Maddie's not dancing. You're not putting her in. You have faith in these girls. She said not to do that. Yeah, she of course. She would never I would never do it. Melissa left that decision up to Maddie. Why couldn't Melissa make that decision? She couldn't bring herself to do the right thing. And that's really sad. Ready? Let's go. This is number 29, Soren. <laughs> Chloe? was supposed to dance last year at Nationals. But her mother, Christy, ruined it for her. She'll never know if she could have won or not. But now is her chance. This is her moment to go out there and earn this victory and prove that she's still on top of her game. I love to watch Chloe on stage. She's a beautiful dancer. She has great technique. And I think Chloe should be really proud of herself because I think it would be so hard to hear just negative things all the time and go out there and rise to the occasion and dance your heart out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we actually hit a tie between fifth and sixth place. Sixth place, the score of 278.4 points. Fifth place had that same score of 278.4, but a higher technique score. So at this time, join me in congratulating in sixth place, 
Miss Cameron, at number 26. This is the start from the Avenue Dance Company. In fifth place. Join me in congratulating Miss Chloe with act number 29, soaring from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. I cannot believe that Chloe actually beat Cameron again. I, I don't know how she pulled it off. I really don't. We're jealous of Cameron. We're not jealous of anyone. Yes, she was. And your no, kid Abby? doesn't have the technique. She does. No, you know what, Abby? That's on you. You're her technique teacher, and that go ahead, say awful things about they my daughter. Know. Abby didn't care if Cameron won nationals. She wanted Cameron to beat Chloe, and she didn't. And Abby can't stand to lose. This is nationals week. Woo! Now, tell us. Maddie, I think it goes without saying you will be performing a solo at nationals. The name of your routine is Someone Special. You are someone special. Show everybody just how special you are. OK, so listen, guys. Our target this week is beating ALDC and winning nationals. So my soloist this week is going to be Ava. She has won against the ALDC, and I know I can count on her. Your dance is going to be based off the original story of The Little Mermaid. I want a clean sweep, and we can do it. No better way to end the season. Let's get started. Let's go. Woo, let's win. Let's go. Abby gave me this solo because you're someone special. Not just to us, but I feel like to a lot of people. So show us that in this dance. You've won nationals. You know what to do. How many solos have you had at nationals? Several, right? And you've won. You didn't dance last year. Make up for it this year. Go. Maddie couldn't do a solo last year at Nationals because she was working with Sia. Maddie's the most famous 12-year-old in the country right now, and it's really important for her to win. Saw you in the newspaper. You were in the police blotter. If, can you go this way? You can look back on that. Slower, slower. Even though Abby's not there, Maddie's always focused, so she just has to be Maddie. I mean, that's all she has to do. Thank you. Make this big, big, big. Think of that mermaid. The solo that Ava is doing is about a mermaid who went to the witch, and she asked to have legs. And for that, she cut off her tongue. Last time at Nationals, Abby stripped her ALDC jacket in front of all her friends and her teammates. Ava was kicked off the team at the biggest competition. Thank you. This is revenge. You have to make it bigger, OK? So let's show her how much you've grown, how, how much better of a dancer, and how much her taking that jacket off you pushed you. Maddie is given a solo this week. It's in the junior division, and she's going to be competing head to head against Ava. And I don't think we have anything to worry about. Mackenzie beat Ava, just saying. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, only an idiot would open a door when they heard music playing. Well, I didn't hear music, or else I wouldn't open the door. So. We just got to get moving. Thanks. OK, well, we're going to go ahead and walk to the stage. All right. Ava wanted to say good luck to the girls. What's good? We got it. Yes. I think Jeanette is a fool. I think she's trying to intimidate, but she is pretty pathetic. Maddie has gone against her and won every time. So just accept it and move on. All right, so this is it. This is Nationals. You're here. You made it to this point. You are the it girl. The it girl can't go on stage and be any less than it. I don't want to get embarrassed and not win. I've now reached this certain level. I want to stay a winner. The pressure is on. We need to prove that we are winners. Next, please welcome number 28, the myth of the mermaid. There is a lot of pressure on me with having a solo. Last nationals, I was kicked off the team. 
And I used to get flustered by Abby, and now I'm not. I'm just gonna go out there and show her what she's missing. <laughs> can insult us all she wants, but it's only because she's scared. Next up, please welcome someone special. This is Maddie's year. She's already a star. It's only gonna last for so long. She has to strike while the iron is hot. And that's now. Oh, run away. I thought Maddie was beautiful. It was excellent, she nailed it. She looked like something special. In second place. Someone special, Maddie. That is crazy. <laughs> She's second. How? Is she second? Who beat her? And in first place, the myth of the mermaid, Ava. What? What is this? It's a joke. Guess what? The judges hear her. Like that's disrespectful to them. Had she been second any other time? Fine, no problem. But not today because they had given out the overall high scores, then they took them back, then they were giving them out again. Nothing else the man said could be taken seriously. It's Nationals week, are you excited? Yeah. So if I call you up, just step forward, please. Nia. Chloe. Kalani. You three have solos. You guys are the OGs. Uh, Kalani's not an OG. Kendall is. I just said you two are OGs. Oh, I thought the you said you guys. people stepping up. God. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Chloe. Your solo is called The Reason Why. It's a really dark story. You feel so sad and just like worn out and you're kind of like, you just don't want anyone around you. Have you ever felt like that before? You need to channel that into this whole number, okay? Show me your acting skills, actress. All right. It's dark, perhaps the darkest hour of all. It's really important for me to have a very emotional dance for Chloe so that she can tap into that. I think Chloe gets in her head a lot. I think she almost jinx herself when she performs, that she's not good enough, that people are judging her. She has to tap in to, you know, that dark emotion, and I feel like that will help her get through her solo. What is in you that you're gonna feel like this? It's been two years since I've had a solo. Two years, I'm a little nervous. Basically, I'm in a really dark and deep place in my solo, I'm very depressed, but I feel like I can definitely relate. When we were at Abby's, it was just this negative person always looking over my shoulder. You, girl in the front, move over to the right. You shouldn't be set up. Boom. Abby won't refer to Chloe by her name. I'm just so thrilled with this name, say my name. 
and she's being really mean to her. I lost my love for dance, but I feel like I had two years to really find myself again and find that, that passion, that love. So I'm excited to have a solo to just show that this week. Stay in it. So just, you need to really get into character. I do want tears. You've got to get to that place, and you have to start practicing it now. Figure it out, OK? Girls, can we just line up, please? This is it. Be the woman that you've always wanted to be. No one can take that away from you, because that's you. All those people that doubted you, you're going to finish on a high note. This is it. This is nationals, OK? OK. Love you, girl. Love you, love you. I love you, too. Love you. OK. <sighs> Number 22, The Reason Why. Did I want Chloe to win nationals? Sure. In some way, shape, or form. Like, she won by just being here with these girls. And she got to finish what she started when she was a little girl back in Pittsburgh. So that means more than any first place overall confetti trophy in the world. 